Hello there everyone and welcome back to my second video. Today we're going to start off by running the Wolves race in 32 seconds. Which is the next challenge from Gustav. Okay, so 3, 2, 1, let's go. Okay, so this is the first bit. We're already up in jungle with the strap. We're just going to cut across here, up here. So we are behind a bit. Messed up that jumps there. I don't think we're going to make this. In the time limit, get another speed boost there. Get the boost from the hunters now. Get down here. Here quickly. So it's way too slow. So I think I'm going to try again tomorrow in my next video. So while that was well below one minute at my personal best. It wasn't exactly the fastest, so I will give it one more go. Just before I give up. So it's three, two, one, go. So give me that speed boost and the hunter's knife boost. That time I have to set to zero. Probably starting, so I do need to make this bit. Well, no, 15 seconds, which I don't think is going to happen. So I'm at about 15 seconds now. But I can make the second bit slightly faster than I did last time. And yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. But it could still be possible if I got a good line here. Which I did, but I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, so I am going to need to try again next week or tomorrow. Well, it is a new best time. It is the fastest. So I am going to head back to the hub. And today, I think we are going to try and do some mining. Or combat, depending on which one you guys want to see. So I think right now I'm going to do some mining. And just get my mining level up a bit. And then I'm going to do some combat later. And do some Revenant Horrors. Currently I do have 64 Dark Oak Wood. For making a wood minion. So I am actually going to go back to my island. And just claim all of the cobblestone from this cobblestone minion. A 64 cobblestone. Which does level up my cobblestone. And give me the cobblestone minion. Now here I need to take some of these. Oh, I need to turn them into planks. I forgot all about that bit. I'm just going to make that there. Some sticks. And some dark oak there. To then get that. Now I'm just going to check the recipe. Here. So if I just look at my foraging recipe. So what is the dark oak minion recipe? For dark oak minion one. That's 10 logs around each piece. I think that actually needs 80 dark oak logs to be able to complete. So we don't actually have quite enough of that. But not to worry, mining logs doesn't take that long. So I'm just going to kill these skeletons. You know, get a bit of combat from that. That is not what we're trying to do. We are going to try and get some mining. If I just speak to the weaponsmith here, I'm just going to throw my cobblestone, that, that, my wooden pickaxe, and my dark oak wood. And then I'm going to talk to this mine merchant. Well, I'm going to buy the promising pickaxe for 35 coins. It's kind of expensive, but it will just get me through this first bit here in the coal mine. Because before I can go anywhere, I do need to practice. I do need to break coal to get my mining level up a bit. That's one, and I am just going to break all these coal blocks. So each of them gives me f plus five mining. However, my first goal is, of course, to upgrade stuff. I'm. I'll. 
There you go. I've now got access to the gold mine. But first of all, before I head to the gold mine, I am going to go and talk to the blacksmith as it suggests in the um well I just see sixty five coins. This is why you keep money in your bank account, guys, because it gives you interest. So this guy says, um So that's the blacksmith. Um so I am going to go to the gold mine now. Which you just run through here, up here, and here, and then on here. This takes you to the gold mine. Over here, where I've got the promising pickaxe, but I can speak to, I believe it is, the gold forger. He just says, I love gold, and he'll sell you a fancy sword, which does 20 damage. But it isn't great. A golden axe, a golden pickaxe, and a golden shovel. I'm using this, which has a mining speed of um, plus 190. This has a mining speed of plus 250. So it's slightly faster. So I will actually buy this and sell that, which I think cancels each other out. Yeah, they cancel each other out just about. But yeah, so I need to head in here. It wants me to talk to the lazy miner, which I will do. We lost a good pickaxe, and now I just need to find the lazy miner's pickaxe, which I don't actually know where it is, but I know that it's really down here, long way. So there is a lot of gold down here, which, if you break it, gives you stuff, but I'm slightly laggy on my breaking. And it is taking quite a while to break these slightly stronger resources. So I think the lazy miner's pickaxe is just around here. Yeah, it's just here. Let me just pick it up in my empty hand. And it is just an iron pickaxe with smelting touch one, which is actually what I'm going to do. It's, it's good. Like it's a decent pickaxe. And it just smelts it instantly. Which means that they sell for slightly more. Like, it's not the best, but like it does the job, you know. If you need, I don't need anything, like it's reliable, you know. Now I just need to climb out of here. This is like the really slow part of the mining, getting out to then speak to the NPCs, you know, and sell your your items to them to make money off them. Like now I'm up here. Like yeah, there's that part down there. Yeah, so I go up here. I think, yeah, Rusty the Giant is just here. Found the Lazy Miner's pickaxe. You put it in your stores. I'll click it again. It's a giant show of the mine. Uh, and I unlock auto pickup at 7 level 6, which is good. He also says the Hunter Knife, which is actually kind of expensive. A polished pebble, a rogue sword, and the Smelting Touch 1 Iron pickaxe. I am actually going to. S I can't sell anything to him, so I am going to speak to the gold merchant where I can sell all of this stuff that I'm not going to actually use at all. I just want it, and that I can't sell to him. So it's corpse all bound, which means that I cannot sell it. Yeah, I'm just going to go down here, all the way down. To here where I will mine some gold I have just gonna reach mining level 5 getting the that 1000 XP yeah, I can see how I upgraded to cobblestone 2 already I'm mostly just mining the gold because it gets like the most mining it gets like decent amounts of all of these ores give like decent amounts but just mining the large veins uh, especially until you get to just the um the Dwarven Mines is mining all these large veins, so there you go, that's mining level 5. I don't have auto pickup yet, because I'm not scrubbed at level 6. But, once I, but if you look in here, you can look at the block level. I'm not even level 1 yet, I'm level 0. I'm pretty close to leveling up, and then... Level 0 gives me nothing. This gives me plus 5 health. Um, That gives me access to the community shop. Level 4 is there. And then if I, I think if I go to the next page, I'm not sure where it is, but 
I know that further on you get access to the bazaar, um, which allows you to sell stuff in bulk and much easier for more money. And it just makes my life a lot easier. And then level six, you do get auto pickup, which does make my life a lot easier. There we go. That's sky block level up to level one, which gives me five more health. And I'm at one hundred and five health. Which is a lot better than what I was. And if I just keep going down in these mines. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure it gives me a quest in the chat or something. No, it didn't. It was just saying that I completed that quest chain. I don't have auto pickup yet, which is kind of annoying. Because it means that I need to manually pick up everything. There we go, that's mining level 4. Just popped. And at mining level 5, it's only another 300 mining XP, which shouldn't take too long. And yeah, once I've done that, I'll probably go to the, uh, to the mine, to the deep caverns, head all the way down them. And just, yeah, maybe fight a few. I'll probably use there as a bit of combat grinding in my next video, which will be on combat. And then the video after that, I'll do farming. And always to use the garden, which I haven't unlocked on this profile yet. But once I do, then I will showcase it. Because this area is actually pretty good for mining. If you don't want people coming and like breaking the ore that you're mining. Which allows you to... Because, like, nobody really mines here. It's such a short period of time that you actually spend in this area. Because, like, I'm very close to the actual amount of mining XP I need. Because, like, I get, like, five from each of these iron ores. One from each of the cobblestone blocks that breaks. There you go. That's coal one, which gives me the coal minion. I'm just going to break some iron. How much iron do I have? I've broken 42. So if I just break some more iron, you know, then I can... Like, so once I, that number there reaches 50, then there we go, that's iron ingot 1. And then there we go, that gives me access to the deep caverns. But first of all, I am just going to get gold 1 before I go there. In the gold mines, which is where gold spawns quite frequently. Especially at these lower levels. But there we go, that's gold ingot 1. We just got so I'm just gonna head up to the surface and I'm just gonna get um, all the money from this see how much it gives me and then travel to deep caverns which is quite a dangerous area actually if you're not experienced then you don't want to go mining there it's like you will probably die at least for quite a while I'm just gonna hold out my hunter knife so I can travel up faster but yeah a lot of people here aren't very good at either combat or some of the other stats, so if I just grab that, then I'm going to head up these stairs here, so I'm going to get a speed boost and hold out the hunter's knife, just so I can go really fast, and go over to this gold forger, I'm going to speak to you, I'm going to sell my cobblestone, my coal, all of that, okay, that gave me about a thousand overall, so yeah, let's just give myself another speed boost and hold out my hunter's knife. So you actually only get the boost when you're standing on the ground. And then let's go to deep caverns. Which is this menacing mountain here. The only problem with deep caverns is that there are mobs. So if I come out here and I'm here, it wants me to talk to the lift operator, which I'm going to do. So he's just going to say, hey fella. I can draw the left here behind me once we explore an area. I can give you a safe road back. Be careful not to fall down the shaft, which you can't actually do. I think it says be careful not to, but you can't actually fall down the shaft. So I am actually going to hold out my hunter's knife for this bit. Because I'm in the lapis quarry. Oh, uh, where's the lapis mine? I forgot where the lapis miner is. I think he's over by the um, the lift, actually, in the lift shaft. I have nothing to defend myself currently. Come over here, the lapis miner is somewhere in this area so this guy i don't actually do that much damage so it's actually a hard fight killing a lot of these guys but yeah see as you speak to the lift operator you can teleport all the way to these places like, 
at the low levels these guys hit really hard so you don't want to get hit by them well i'm just that's why i'm using the hunter's knife because you do move really quickly with it but i roughly know yes he hits the lapis miner so i speak to this guy he broke my lap lapis, lapis collection what three which actually will take quite a long time because you can only mine lapis to get it but it's actually quite slow but a lot of lapis drops so i will just reach lapis collection one start with which is just a thousand lap a thousand lapis is how much you need to reach uh collection three which i don't particularly want to do right now but i will do it uh probably off camera but yeah so now i'm in the pigments den which is again the health increased and the mobs here now once you talk to the redstone miner i think so this way Again, over by the lift operator, I'm pretty sure. Nope. Sorry, I was wrong about that. But on some of my older profiles, I spent a long time waiting here, but they do aggro easily. I think they are technically neutral, but they do aggro really easily. So yeah, what you really want to do with these is you just want to keep heading down in the mines. Like, if you're not heading down, then you're probably not going the right way. But yeah, then you reach these, em uh, I think, slime hell. Yeah, with all the emeralds which actually self quite a bit so after this video i am going to get all of these collections to level one and level three on the lapis collection probably and whatever i do whatever quest the diamond guy wants you to do yeah see these guys these guys while they don't have much health they do do massive knockback so this is one of the ones that i think it, i spent a long time at the um slime hell yeah, see, because they, they hit hard. Like, if you get hit by one, like, you could die really easily. So I am just going to come over to the lift operator over here. Ah, yeah, see, I could straight, straight down to Slime Hill. I think it's over this way. But yeah, see, they do kill you real quick. Um, but, yeah, I think I'm going to finish there. And just end off the video here. But I'll do a bit of mining and then go on to the combat video.